Good morning, Chigang. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Fidel. No, Gloria's gone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesdays. Happy Tuesdays. The eight, the three minutes past eight class. Team Katie Brindle, good morning, Jules. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesdays, everybody. Good morning, Sandra. If anybody's not yet following Hey You Fit, come on, you must all be following Hey You Fit by now. Sandra is one of our master practitioners. She does all of the yin work, all of the breath, the uh, heaven and earth classes. She's amazing, highly, highly trained by John Monroe, the master himself. Uh, good morning, Sandra. Thank you for joining us. Right, let's get twisting. Good morning, everybody. Good from Australia. Good morning. Talking of Australia, I have a, I have a shout out today. Uh, a lady called Sarah. I'm just looking at my notes because um, I was a bit early in the morning. Um, Sirka, Sarah Sirka, with her daughters Eleni and Theodora. Um, they were very supportive when their mommy wasn't very well, and uh, her sister um, uh, introduced her to the Hey You Method and to all of us. And now they are avid Chigangers. <laughs> uh, they have extended family in Australia that also join us. So happy birthday for tomorrow. That was, uh, I'm very, we love a birthday. Do send us in birthdays, babies, pets, sad news, happy news, whatever the news, do please uh, send us in your messages because we love to know this is a community as much as anything. So let's just start shaking now. We'll do a little bit of a longer shake this morning. Just also waiting for everyone to join in. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. And it's her birthday. No, it's her birthday tomorrow is in my notes, unless the notes are wrong, but in the notes today for tomorrow. So, uh, but unless the system is broken, Jules, and we're not putting the notes in on the right day. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday either for today or tomorrow. Whatever, we're gonna make it both days anyway. Uh, so there we go. Right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Right, just shake a bit this just allow your body you can sway remember just go with your own health on these exercises okay when we start at the beginning i mean i'm always very sort of like pow 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 and upbeat because i get terribly excited when i'm on air and i get terribly excited when i do qigong because it's two of my favorite things and then jules starts making me laugh and then the whole thing kind of spirals off into some kind of quasi breakfast show whatever it is but you need to go at your pace, okay? When you're looking after the body and only you know how you feel, okay? You are with yourself 24 hours of the day. The best doctor or alternative practitioner um, can do the absolute best, best, best that they can for you. But at the end of the day, you are living inside your body. Your body is the house of your soul, okay? So you know how you're feeling today, how much energy you want to put into this, how, how, how vigorous you want to be, you know, do you want to, shake really 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 uh, like this or do we want to just kind of like be a bit more like this both is fine if you want to go a bit softer just really focus on the breath and really go to your inner world notice notice if you can half close your eyes kind of with, with like the tortoise goes like this you just want to notice your inner world okay your inner chi you start to become aware of how things feel inside your body. Okay, and this is why Qigong is so wonderful because it works from the inside out. Okay, strong organs, strong body. All right, that's how it works. And if you find, like me and many others that I've treated over the years that I know for a fact are in this group, that you've struggled with your body and how it looks and you want to kind of be, you know, a size or two smaller and it doesn't seem to work, whatever you do, and all those tried and tested techniques out there i.e. starving yourself and doing some ridiculous diet and then um, exercising in the kind of conventional ways and none of it seems to make any difference whatsoever to you and then in the end you get completely disheartened and think, oh God, this is just pointless, it just doesn't seem to work. I promise you, I know it's a subject close to my heart. I have been there my whole life until I discovered Qigong because this changes everything. Strong body on the inside, strong body on the outside, okay? If your body has got anything that's not working, whatever kind of symptom it is, whether it's the physical appearance or whether it's pain or whether it's headaches or whether it's a limited movement, whether it's emotional, spiritual, whatever the symptom is, it is a symptom of the underlying imbalance or weakness going on on the inside. 
And that's what's so exciting about Qigong. And therefore, in turn, here you fit. Okay, because there's only so much I can do in a 45 minute class, which is aimed at everybody. I've got to, I've got to navigate my way through every single person and come up with a whole, which is what I did, which is what this class is. It's a holistic class of community and energy. It's a morning exercise. It gets you moving first thing in the morning. It gets your energies good for the day. It allows you to have a little check-in on the inside, think about how you were behaving the day before, clean out any old rubbish that we could get, get do with getting rid of and get you set for the day. And slowly but surely, like marbles in a jar, this will fill and fill and fill and you will start, you will start to feel better. Your symptoms will improve. But there are people who will need a bit more than that, me included, by the way, which is why we have Hey You Fit behind us, why we have Aaron and we have Jess and we have Sandra. So depending where you are in that spectrum, there is a class behind me that would be a very good idea for you to do to amplify what it is that we're doing each day. So you do this, we do this together. If your body is quite resistant to weight loss like mine, we are, we are the Aaron flows, okay? We are the people that need to go into those animal moves. I promise you, I've kept them back so that I could do them with you because I knew that they would work and they do, okay? They give you that dynamic oomph that you need, but all importantly, let's just start drumming, working from the inside out. That's the difference between doing, say, an Aaron's animal class to go for a run or taking a personal trainer in a gym or doing vinyasa yoga, for example, or anything like that, because you're really working slowly but dynamically on these all important inside organs. And as you strengthen the organs, you are strengthening the musculoskeletal system simultaneously. And that's what's giving you the effects. If, on the other hand, that's not your problem and your stuff's more on the inside, you're weak, you're tired, you wake up tired, you wake up exhausted in the morning, you think, oh God, I just want to go back to bed, I'm so knackered. And nothing kind of gives you the energy that you're after. If, that, if that's you, then you need to be doing more the 12 rivers in the heaven and earth and Sandra's breath work, okay? Because you've got to get the rivers of chi full inside the body. They've got to start getting strong before you can start doing anything on the outside at all, okay? That's, that's, that's where you need to sit. And of course, in an ideal world, all of us would go through the entire sequence, which is how we, which, how we launched it, where you do 12 rivers, heaven and earth, animals. Okay, that's, that's the process that I put myself through because what I had to do when I was really weak, so I was overweight and weak, okay, that was like the worst possible combination for me. And that was because I pushed my body throughout my whole life, full stop, it was a problem anyway. I was born with weak organs and I was born uh, with a tendency to put weight on extremely easily. And then as I lived my life, I made it worse. And by the time I finished having my twins, I was in a really bad state indeed. Um, and this was when I discovered the miracles of Qigong, that you've got these amazing 12 rivers that start to support each organ and the flow of energy with each organ. You've got to get that first. Okay? You've got to get your organs moving. You've got to fill them with energy. Eat a little marble jar for every single one of them. Okay, 12 little marble jars all in a row. <laughs> and then once you've got the hang of that, then you add in the 12 rivers. Uh, sorry, the heaven and earth, because you've got these deep reservoirs of chi that sit underneath the rivers. They're your overdrafts or your savings accounts, okay? They give you the extra boost that you need when things get tough. But unfortunately in the West, we tend to drain them. We take them for granted, we don't think about it. We just like do whatever we've got to do, okay? Down the outside. So you've got to fill them back up again. That's the ideal to do, okay? And then once you've got enough energy in the body, then you do the animals and then you can put a whole thing together and you can do a flow with Aaron and you can do a flow with Sandra and a flow with Jess and then of course the all important thing that sits underneath all of the above is that the way to make good quality chi is through the breath okay you learn the breath techniques with Sandra and then you know how to breathe properly you know how to meditate properly you know how to relax the body properly these are the ways that you create good strong bodies and then you have good strong physiques and then you feel amazing on the inside and on the outside okay this this is what we're talking about hey you fit okay sorry i did mention that Jules. i said that at the beginning anyway this is this is why through lockdown through starting this class 
we created the Hey You Fit brand because this is this was so powerful what we did with this class. There's so many people that we were helping, such an amazing community that I want to basically take you on an integrated journey all the way through. And that's what we've done. We've created the whole, but we've set it out in a kind of linear process. So you don't have to do the whole thing if you don't want to, if you have more time, or you just think, oh, there's too much to click about, I don't know. Um, just join, jump in one of the flows. That's what I that's what I would do. That's why I tested Aaron's flow to see can you just jump into it without doing anything else? And the answer is yes. He's such a great teacher that you just sort of do like you do if you went to a spinning class or a yoga class, you just sort of keep an eye on what he's doing for the first lesson or so, and then you know what you're doing yourself, and then you are away with this great teaching. And it's the same with all the other lessons as well, okay? It's really in your interest to do this. Right, let's get tapping. Get your tappers out. So that was a little bit of a a bit of an intro for those that weren't sure about Hey You Fit or indeed those that needed a recap. This is not a party political broadcast for Hey You Fit, I'll have you know. This is just to basically lay out the stall of Qigong for, for, for all of us early adopters because it's so brilliant. How, how it's, it's disappeared is beyond me. Jules and I have had this conversation many times. How can it have, how can no one know about it? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's so brilliant. And yet we've forgotten to know all this stuff like gua sha and bathing techniques, all these incredibly valuable techniques that we have at our disposal for keeping ourselves well. And we forgot. I mean, it's just weird. But anyway, we've remembered now. That's the moment. We've got it now. We've sorted now. We all know what we're doing now. And we can broadcast it to the world because it's here and it's live. So in the meantime, tap, 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 tap. This class is all about getting you moving, okay? This is your starter for 10. It's a starter for 10, Jules. This is what we want, okay? We want to basically get that body up and moving, get that lovely chi moving, get those joints, work over the knees, work on the calves. So good for lower back pain when you get to those calves. Nice deep breaths. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Go on the wobbly bits, go on the joints, go down to the feet, go to the kidneys. Getting that arch of the foot there. If you're doing this later in the day, it's just as good. What I do before bed is I just spend a little, little longer cooling it down, tend to go a bit slower at bedtime, more like this. And then I'll finish off with a nice foot bathe before I go to sleep to get that energy out of the head. Down into the feet with a nice deep breath, conducive for a good night's sleep. Okay, so you're doing this in the evening, that's what you do. In the morning, I want to be a bit more vigorous, which is why I'm a bit upbeat and chatty in the morning. Trust me, by four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm less so. <laughs> Katie Karaoke. <laughs> yeah, come on, we'll have to cover Jules. Chop, 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 come on. <laughs> Actually, you're making me laugh already, Jules. Your presence alone. Oh, hello, Salvador. Oh, well, there we go. The chaos of my love. Hello, Dad. Do you want to say hello, Jeremy? Come on, Come on. Oh, Mr. Brindle's on the front. Right, Ali, okay, go on then. Sorry, Labrador's on the Say hello to my ladies. Of course. Oh, it's guest appearance. Mr. Brindle's here. He's whisking me off for a weekend for my birthday. Morning. Right. Yeah, we're off to Capri. <laughs> hey, guys. I'll get these Labrador's out right, of here. Out you go. Come on. Come on, go. Come on. Class. Come on. Come on. <laughs> bye, baby. Come You're on. off. Uh, tough now. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Bye, bye, Vinny. Bye, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Where were we? Where were we? Right, we got interrupted by the Labrador. Right, I think that's more than enough tapping. So, for today, I'm not going to go back into all the soul stuff again because I've been doing that day in, day out. I'm sure I bored you, bored you rigid with it. Mr. Brindle's in the house, anyway. Right, so let's get moving. Now, remember, never mind all the spiritual stuff. In Chinese medicine, the whole of your body is managed by five key organs. They're like kingdoms, okay? Kingdoms of the body. Strong organs, strong body, okay? And the thing is, the organs do get pulled down by our emotional conversation, and they respond extremely well to vibration, okay? That's basically the summary of why we do this every single day. So, what are we going to do? The first bit is we want to be, want to be dynamic, and we want to get any negative stuff out of the organs. We do it with our intention and we do it knowing that this is what, what, what we're doing and why we're doing it. Then get amplified, okay? So really use this exercise to be a bit silly and to just get, get, get rid of it all, okay? So the first thing, we're gonna go into the chest. You can drum your chest or just drum your lower dantian. You can stamp your feet with me if you want to be a little bit more kind of energized about the whole thing. 
Right, and then we want to go into our lungs, get rid of anything that's causing you to be stuck. This is to do with your respiratory system. So important in the autumn to have strong lungs. We've got to get them ready for the winter, ready for the bugs flying around. So breathe in and zzzz. Really think it out through your third eye, through here. Zzzz. Oh, thank you for the birthdays. Right, breathe in. Tiger breath. Really claw and okay, when you're doing that. I want to get everything stared out of the body. Go to the heart. This is anxiety, heartache, anything that's upset you, which is loads of things. We all get upset in life. Breathe in. Breathe in, go to your spleen, breathe in, get rid of anything that's worrying you, just let go of it, won't make any difference worrying about it, you need to make a plan, that's what you do, breathe in, Whoa. breathe in, Jules, are you letting the cat out of the bag again? Breathe in, go to the liver. This is all about anger and frustration and being blocked. Breathe in. Breathe in. Go to your kidneys. This is about fear. Letting go of your fear, your kidneys are also responsible for your growing process, your menopause, your hormones, the seven year cycle of life, the urinary tract, uh, the knees, the joints, the bones, the hips, hair thinning, hair graying, that's all to do with the kidneys, so breathe in. I read that, Jules. <laughs> I can see what you're saying. I've actually got a slight style bar. I've, of course, now picked up my son's cold, obviously. If you put yourself in confinement with someone with a cold for four days solid, of course you're going to get the cold. Uh, so now I'm fighting off uh, my own logy going on here. Uh, anyway, right, what are we doing now? Uh, there we go, back to the heart. Breathe in. He Now, every single one of those sounds that we've made is going to strengthen your organs. Every single organ that we were talking about has a relationship to aspects of the functions of the body, whether it's your urine or your defecation or your breathing or your skin or your thinning hair or your aching joints um, or your wobbly bits on your thighs or around your middle or your headaches or your period pain or your menopause. Whatever is going on in your body, those key organs, it ultimately, when you drill it back, become responsible. Okay, Ruby, that's kind of the message of today. That's why we do, we've spent so much time on them. Get those organs kind of clean and zingy. Oh yeah, clean and zingy. Then you're going to basically feel so much better in your health. Nice, clean, zingy organs, you're going to feel better. Ruby, that's the quote for the day. Right, so now let's fill it with laughter. Jules, you have not tickled me at all all morning. There is nothing you've said to so far today that's made me remotely funny <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to do it all by myself as usual all by myself <laughs> okay Kelly I hope you're ready with the stopwatch let's get laughing because Jules is not funny this morning <laughs> There's a menopause fact sheet up. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing because we're in the laughter time. Jules, please explain menopause. We've got menopause fact sheets, guys. <laughs> Drive your body. Laugh. <laughs> feel 
so much better if you laugh in the face of it. As the Dalai Lama said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We're going to get through this together. I didn't say, I'm going to scroll back and see what we're talking about. I saw the coded comments. <laughs> Exactly. If you don't laugh, you cry. And crying's fine too. There's two ways to get the, the, the upside of healing, okay? Desperation or inspiration. They both get you to the same place. Now, the uh, desperation will get you there, but inspiration is so much nicer. So laugh, guys, laugh, okay? And I will inspire you and then we will give you everything you need to know. <laughs> I myself have been desperate as much as inspired in equal measure by my own life and by the wonders of Chinese medicine, believe me. And I just choose to laugh. <laughs> You're all welcome in Capri, guys. I probably won't be able to go though because I've got a cold, even though I've been tested for COVID and it's negative because I've now got a sniffle. Obviously, everyone's going to be in a complete panic, which is so typical because Richard and I haven't been away for so long. We were so excited about it. Anyway, right, okay, sorry, Kelly. That was a really rubbish laugh to me. If I I kept talking. <laughs> There is a menopause guide up on the site, okay, guys? There was also a whole menopause uh, live feed that I did only the other week, which is up there, and there's one with Trini as well. So we did a whole load on menopause, and we will be doing more, okay? So let's go back to our healing sounds. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kelly. She added a bit on. Anyway, what do you mean, rubbish? What do you... Okay, I don't know what that was rubbish about, but anyway, I'm just going to ignore you, Jules. You said you didn't even make me laugh when you had to have to do it all by myself. <laughs> you just carry on having your own conversation. <laughs> right then, breathe in. Let's get back into the healing sounds. Let's go to the high virtues of these spirits because if you stay up high, you feel better down here. Okay, this is the easiest way to get the body feeling good. So, up to the lungs, we go to gratitude. So, um, oh, I'm on the wrong side. Hang. Brindle Airlines, right? Ah. <laughs> Funny enough, I know Lynn Franks really well. We're very, very good friends. She's amazing, honestly. She <laughs> I would be on the tan, I wouldn't like. <laughs> uh, chu at the top of your head that would be very entertaining wouldn't it yes and i would be on the tannoy jewels honestly anyway right you get back to answering everyone's questions there's loads of stuff in there which i can see don't worry if you can't laugh okay i couldn't laugh either when i started this i was just like what are you joking i'm so fucking miserable to do that i feel horrendous um and then i just forced myself to do it and then you kind of fake it to make it and i do think sometimes in life you just have to kind of own the space and just kind of ha 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 you know just ha just try this okay just try silly laugh okay everyone do it anyone right there now who finds laughter really difficult and everyone out there who finds it easy let's do it together okay let's just do a fake laugh okay like i don't even know what a fake laugh is but let's just rock the body okay ha 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 <laughs> do this okay this is at least going to start jolting things about and jiggling it around so if you find it difficult make that i know it sounds ridiculous and i don't care and i know ruby will no doubt put this up onto the feed in a minute where i'll go <laughs> but actually if you do that 
then you, it's, it's not far to go from <laughs> to <laughs> okay, <laughs> and <laughs> I could go to oh, okay, and if you're in that kind of midway point between just like everything sucks to smithereens down here, and this is where we want to get you to, everybody's there. oh right now that's funny, is it, Jules? Okay, so that's making Jules laugh. Okay, so I'm gonna make you laugh. <laughs> right, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> that there we go everyone's laughing <laughs> there we go so everybody <laughs> everybody there we go that if you find laughter difficult that is probably a good way of doing it luckily for you you are not being broadcast to the entire world via your instagram feed so it doesn't matter and now it's making everybody else laugh <laughs> We're all over the shop this morning. Kelly's given us extra and I couldn't laugh in the laughter bit. Now we're all laughing. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, oh, I hate you, Mum. Oh, <laughs> but rock your body, rock your body. Ooh, just rock, rock, rock. This is why we do the shaking at the beginning, okay? Because you can move that into ha, 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 and then up go the lips, and then you're in business. We will carry on with that practice tomorrow because otherwise we're never going to get to anything else. I think we've managed to get a little break through there, okay? So <laughs> that is a good start, okay? There, we're going to fake it to make it, folks. And remember, everyone, tomorrow, remember the people in the group that are struggling, okay? We are always going to help, okay? The early adopters, I know you're much further down the line. Help people, okay? This is what this community is all about, okay? <laughs> Take laughter is the way to love. Well, exactly. This is the thing. So basically, I think we've got something. We've got we've got a starting point. OK, it's all about knowing how to start. And then there we go. So let's now move our weird noise, laughter, healing sounds, plain chanting. God knows what going on this morning into the body. Right. Let's get dynamic. So just get this lovely chi and our laughter and our fake laughter and our almost crying laughter around the body. This is where we make moves. Really enjoy the feeling. You've got great energy now in the body. We've created it together. We're up, we're moving, we're laughing and breathing. We've created really good quality chi. I'd like to point out my dog doesn't get phased by the laughter at all anymore. Do you remember at the beginning, folks? Do you remember? Fidel used to go berserk. He doesn't do that now, he just lies there sleeping, going, oh God, mummy's off again. I think I've bored him to tears, poor Fidel. That'd be you soon, Jules. <laughs> Seen it all before, he's, oh yeah, mummy's off. So breathe, stretch. The object of this bit of the class is to move that lovely oxygenated blood around the body. This is why the breath courses are so important. Learning to breathe, it's the absolute cornerstone of good health. We've got an amazing teacher. Very proud of all the people who stand alongside me with this brand. You've got me wanging on at the front, but we've got amazing Katie Blake, who will teach you everything you need to know about how to use your tools, how to get the best from your products, so that you can get amazing results, stopping you needing to buy loads of stuff you don't need. Honestly, I'm constantly asked about my skin, not because I'm, I'm no supermodel, but it's just the quality of my skin and it's because I, I literally practice what I preach. That post I put up the other day, Sovereign, Hey You, Trini, they're the master brands I use and I'm so happy with my skin. Don't need to bother with all this other nonsense. Go the other way, it saves me an absolute fortune. You just don't need that much stuff. I probably spend about, I don't know, 60 quid a month because it's probably one oil, not quite an oil a month, and it's not quite one whole product a month. So it probably works out about one and a half products overall. It's a tube of Trini, a pot of Sovereign, and the Hayu oil, with the crystals, which are of course a one-off purchase. And then the most important thing is if you're thinking about your beauty, something that I was talking to a very esteemed journalist who's in our group, not to mention any names, but you know who you are, and you said a comment yesterday about the face being separate from the body and I thought actually that's something to, to say to everyone. The face isn't separate from the body. The face is the manifestation of the body, which is why we prize beauty. 
if your body's in good health, your face will look good. Okay, so beauty is not just skin deep. It's really important to work the body with Qigong, get all those channels and the organs strong, and it will shine through your face. And you simply won't need all these things that they try to sell you. Because if these products are only working on the face itself, they are missing about 95% of the possible solution. But we know the truth. We know that doing Qigong every day and working with Inhale You Fit and understanding how to use the tools is what is going to give you lasting beauty all through your life. There we go. Right, now go with your hips. And that's something I'll be talking about on Friday because it's my birthday. So we should be talking about the aging process. How to get the best out of your age, which is basically you want to look, you want the benefits of youth, which is looking good, right? When, you, when you're young, you look fresh. That's the point of being young, you look fresh. And your body really shouldn't be in too much of a problem because it's young, so life hasn't taken its toll. And then the benefit of ageing is wisdom, where you don't make the same mistakes again if you're doing the process properly, and you get wiser, go the other way, so you know what to do in situations. Now, the downside of ageing, if you don't manage it correctly, is you start to get in pain, your looks fade, your body shape disappears slightly, and you get symptoms, and then life starts to get increasingly uncomfortable. Okay, that's the downside. So, the trick is to get the boast of both worlds, is to use these techniques to keep the body young, feeling, i.e. symptom-free and strong, keeping your looks blooming because your body is, is in radiant health, and learning your mistakes, and, make, and learning your life lessons, and learning your wisdom, so that when you finally exit the body, you take that whole vibration with you, I come to your center, and the whole vibration exits the body on that last breath, and it takes all that wisdom right up to the Tao, and then the soul becomes more complete through the life. That's the, per that's the process, right? Breathe in. And that's the theory that the Chinese masters gave us. Now, if you don't believe it, which is totally okay, because it, by the time you start getting to spiritual stuff, it starts, starts to become a matter of belief, and then religion gets involved, which is totally okay. That's fine. Whilst you're just in physical body, which you can feel right now, we, common sense dictates that we don't want to be in pain, and we, we'd like to look our best, and we don't really want symptom thanks. We'd like to live a full and happy life, where we're running around each day kind of with, with you know, sort of carefree abandon and wisdom and happiness with a, with a body that can support that. So even if the last bit you disagree with me, which is totally okay because we are all entitled to our beliefs, I'm just setting the stall for what I learned and thought, wow, that's interesting. I like that. I'm going to stick with that one. That sounds great to me. Then let's just work on the body bit, the aging process of the body, and let's aim to have the, all the benefits of youth and all the benefits of age. And that's what we're aiming for in this group, folks. And that's what you can indeed have with teachers like Sandra and Aaron and Jess and Katie, Katie Blake, that is. They will all teach you what you need to do and how you need to do it. And then in the meantime, if that's all too much, you just join me and Jules each morning with Catherine on the days Jules can't do and we do it together. Breathe out. Swap round, breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Breathe out. The other thing Kate is doing at the moment is um, she's got one-to-ones available, by the way, and she's teaching Gua Sha, especially for the chest and the upper shoulders, the respiratory tract. Really important at this time of year. We are in the lung season right now. Very, very important at this time of year to really know how to use Gua Sha to strengthen the immune system. to reduce inflammation, to reduce pain. These are all techniques that you can use Gua Sha for. And at this time of year, which is the autumn season, it's a really good idea to understand how to get the best out of your Gua Sha. And Katie is the best person to teach that. Breathe out. 
Breathe in. This exercise is so good for the nervous system. The nervous system is controlled by the liver. Our poor livers get really strung out by all the pace of life. They open into our eyes. So when we see all these flashing images on Instagram and games and fast forwards and all this stuff, it's all going into the liver and it makes it go like that. And it goes, wah! Okay, and it's not healthy. So we use, there we go, just undone that. Right, let's do it again. Breathe in, slow the breath. And breathe out. One more, breathe in. And down. Follow my hands, take a deep breath and keep breathing. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. There, put your feet shoulder width apart. Let's do our tiger move again. So claw your hands, claw your toes. If you can bend your knees, do. If you can't, just claw. And up onto your toes if you can. Bend, claw, tight. Every muscle of your body, tight, 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 tight. Push down through the feet, claw, every muscle tight. Notice where you find it hard. For me, it's just here, because it was split here with the twins. It's still not there. <laughs> And relax, oh, a cat-like relax. Oh, relax, 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 breathe. <sighs> Notice the difference. This is a very good exercise if you're tired but wired. Okay, at the end of a day of rushing around, you haven't got time to do the whole thing. This is a really good way to relax the body and before sleep as well. If you're struggling with sleep, do this because it really allows the body to really relax, hold. Pull in tight, tight claw, claw, and relax. Ah, oh, there. Really enjoy that feeling afterwards. Ah, oh, the body goes into this deep, deep feeling afterwards. This is a really powerful qigong, these breaths and the clawing. I know it's like, really? It's like, yeah, massively. The breath is iron shirt qigong. You're saturating every cell of the body with powerful oxygen pushing into every cell, okay? And then when you tighten the muscles and then deeply relax, you can allow the chi to just move into every single nook and cranny of the body. And now we can take that into our swimming dragon and start to flow that beautiful breath energy around the body because you've got a lovely relaxed flow with all those vibrations, okay? All the laughter, all the nonsense all the community spirit, all the stupid laughter. Just smile, flow, enjoy. Feel like there's a balloon in front of you. Try and take the spinning, sorry, the swim, swimming dragon all the way down, all the way up to the top. Just going to do it back a bit for you. And down to the center. And repeat, really engage, put some welly into it, engage your abdomen, allow this to flow. Feel it on the backs of the legs, that's the bladder channel, it's a very watery exercise strengthening the kidneys which are responsible for the aging process hormones menopause bones hair hips 
knees, fear, wisdom, willpower, the batteries of the body, the root of your yin and yang, no kidney energy, that's when you're knackered, okay? If you, can't, if you wake up in the morning and you just think, oh God, I can't even get out of bed. I used to feel like that. Literally, I was tired before I'd even started the day. That's how it was. And then eventually, I strengthened it with my marbles in a jar until I just get clobbered at about three, four o'clock, which is a very common symptom. That's the, when the energy goes to the kidneys. One more. And the kidneys, that's their signal to the body. If you get tired in the middle of the afternoon, that is a surefire symptom that your kidneys need a rest, that they're not strong enough. Or if you get up in the night needing the loo. Okay, if you're that person, you need to strengthen your kidneys. Okay, you need to come in, do these exercises with me, add in the Hey You Fit stuff, add in the Sandra meditations, the heaven and earth, add in whichever the Qigong is that you find you enjoy. For me, it's the animals I like. I really like the dynamic aspect of them and I like that kind of worked out feeling but it's that I'm, I'm really energized at the end of the class um, but I also really like the other end with Sandra doing the meditation where it's like deep 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 relaxation especially in the evening so you will see me on those classes folks right last exercise of the day okay nice horse stance now you can bend deeper ideally with this you really want to be down in the horse stance okay so my ah uh, I'll do my best there, this is my real, oh, try and stay low if you can, or, and then twist around, there we go, oh, there we go, twist, Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Right. Really stretch, get down with your legs. Get down low. Oh, this is not easy for me either. These are my, oh, it's like, oh. Just enjoy the stretch. Morning, Jasmine. Oh. Just really enjoy the dynamic feeling of this exercise, these gorgeous circles and twists, these figures of eights, powerful to the helix structure of the cells, strengthening every cell of the body with these master moves, okay, giving you energy, vitality, strength to get through your day, harmony in your body. This is what we're after, relaxed yet energized, with energy for the day ahead. They don't want to play this one. That's okay. You don't have to go quite as deep as I did. I'm trying to give you the, you know, you can stay here. Okay. You don't have to go as wide. What matters is that you're creating these circles. You're creating these figures of eight. Okay. That's what matters in these exercises. It's what gives the body this energy, this loop that goes around the body. It strengthens everything up. Right, just take your tapper, guys. Oh, no, hang on. Just don't take your tapper. Take your hands, put them on the lower dantian. Breathe, just nice. Three nice circles. And then round the other way. Yep. 
Yeah, exactly. When you're sitting at a computer, especially if you're at home, which most of us are, you know, like I know that we had all these desks for the company and then I found myself sort of just sitting at a table because I just didn't, I wanted to kind of be my own home. And then I found myself sort of sitting at this table all day long for months and months on end. And you're like, hang on, this is completely the wrong setup working off a laptop, which, you know, as, a, as running a business, I wouldn't let my staff do that. Um, so it's really important. <sighs> that you're doing these exercises just to give you a bit of a boost and, a, and, a, and a get your body strong. You know, there's lots of flows and free classes on here you fit as well throughout the day. There's all sorts of live feeds they're doing to, to get you involved in, in, in all the amazing content that's sitting there. So do use them or use your tapas throughout the day. Have it at your desk. Just tap the body. Add in like a shake or a drum or a twist. Okay, all those lovely spinal stretches at the end where we do the swimming dragon and, the, and the, the, the spinning cups. You know, those exercises, really good for the body. You just need to do a few minutes each hour. Just get up, move the body, okay? If you do a few minutes each hour, you've done 40 minutes by the end of the day and you haven't even noticed. Um, so that's a really good thing. Whilst we've still got light evenings, try and go for walks, get out into this lovely air, get those lungs strong, okay? The immunity checklist has gone up. That's up there for you. We'll get the happiness and the gratitude one up as well. So we missed that last week. Poor Ruby, she's only just started. <laughs> she's like, oh my God, what is all this stuff? <laughs> she's trying to do a million things at once. But I'm sorting out my, uh, the, uh, the IT in my flat, which of course wasn't working because then we've been in it for months on end and everything stopped working. So she's had a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, we will get all that stuff up. Gratitude lists, happiness lists, immunity lists. You name it, we've got a list for everything. We're list mania in this time. This is all about getting ready for winter. That's what autumn's all about. Thank you all so much for joining, Jules, as always. Thank you so much for your help. Um, thank you all for joining on this class. Any questions, do please ask us. We're always happy to help you do it the best we can to look after our community, look after ourselves, look after each other. Thank you all so much. Have a little bit. Hey, you want your breakfast? Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. You breakfast, don't you? Right, I think Fidel's asking for his breakfast. <laughs> So I better go see you. It's not fair. It's like, I've been more than patient. I know. Come on then. All right. Thank you, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. And of course, Jasmine's got her singing bowls at lunchtime. And there's all sorts of stuff going on over on Hey You Fit today. Thank you.